Hi Pisces, welcome to the first time viewers and welcome back to my returning viewers. I will be relaying back any information that will be crucial to you. If you are after a private reading, please feel free to contact me on the email listed below this video. Otherwise, we'll get straight into it, Pisces. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Sun. And we have the Knight of Cups. So starting off from the top left, the, the Ten of Swords is really about an old way of life that's dying. I mean, you do have... <clears throat> Two tens in these cards, so this could indicate there's a brand new, brand new beginning or the start of something new. It could be in relation to your uh, disposition and your mental, your mental state of mind. But the ten with the pentacles could also indicate a new, uh, a new idea that's flourishing, or um, a new job perhaps that's going to bring you quite a bit of money. But let's go back to the ten. So there's obviously a new horizon that you're coming into. There's a new dawn here for you. You're transitioning here with the 10. This could have something to do with foreign lands. You might have your eye on foreign lands or there may be some sort of correspondence with foreign lands as seen here. And I feel as though they could um, provide you or set you up with a brand new future for yourself. So I'm not sure if you're um, inquiring to study overseas or you're in publishing or you're in the public eye um, or you're uh, looking to attain a green card of some sort. But I feel you've got your eye on distant lands and these distant lands can offer you a new beginning. But the swords do come back to its communication. So when we and, and thought, so when we talk about this, it's it's important to realize that, that there will be a transformation in your disposition and your mental state of mind. But it's for the positive Pisces. You do have the sun card here also. So that's absolutely beautiful. That sees that the sun is coming in and it's really shining and it's shining very much so on your finances and your assets, your work, your creative pursuits, etc. But this could also be that there's a transformation in a relationship if you have been involved with an air sign. You do have the Queen of Swords here also. So a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius could be quite prominent for you. And they could be they could help you celebrate something as well, most definitely. But this is a beautiful transformation that's happening here. And some, some sort of connection to distant lands. So if you've been applying for an online role maybe, or a business, a corporation, a company that's overseas, that has branches overseas, I feel you will be successful. Now moving on, we have the Ten again with the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about family, assets, going places, earning money, generating money from ideas. This sees you through that it will be a very, very big month for you. You will be very busy. And here you are. You could just be very busy with family. This could also indicate a bit of travel. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be to foreign or distant lands as indicated by the 10. This could just indicate travel to a different city, state as well. Um, a trip away from the family, etc. But this is you feeling very excited and being very, very busy. There's a lot of people around you here. There's children in these cards. There's pets. So this could be family, family, friends people that you might visit, but this sees you visiting a lot of places that have a lot of families there. I mean, you could be taking a trip of some sort, maybe to a recreational park, you know, a Disneyland or something that that could be on the cards for you. Um, but this is all about things happening in your physical realm. So you might be earning money of some kind. And it's been something you've been orchestrating something you've been working towards here with the seven of cups. And I feel as though if this has been a creative pursuit of some kind, this has been brewing for you for quite some time as judging by the by my cards from the previous months that I've done your readings. I feel like this creative pursuit or whatever goal you're working towards is really coming through quite strongly and you might start seeing the fruits of This could also be an earth sign that's around you. Maybe you might be traveling with an earth sign. You might be working with an earth sign. So Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Maybe someone in your family is an earth sign that you might be spending extra time with. There's a few signs here, uh, so there's it will be a very busy month, but this means things are happening in your physical realm with the 10, and it will bring you a brand new beginning. And the reason I say it's something you've been working on or something you've been wishing for, something you've been manifesting is with the 7. And here you are with the Seven of Cups, ordering from the catalogue of the universe the person you'd like to have in your life, the dream home you'd like, the jewels you'd like, where you'd like to be victorious in, your aspirations. This is this is sort of like Pandora's box. And here you are selecting what experience you'd like. 
And I feel this is a really strong card of manifestation because, you know, you're not only looking up to the heavens, you're looking up to the universe. And I feel as though you, the universe is very bountiful. It's very giving. So I feel there's some sort of connection to distant lands and some sort of project or money or people connected to foreign shores, perhaps, or something you've been working on because you'll manifest this. So if it's the relationship you've been hoping to attain with an air sign or an earth sign, I feel like this is the month where you could see that happen. This is the month where you might become exclusive as indicated by the Ten of Pentacles. Or this is the month where you something you've been dreaming, conjuring, manifesting on some sort of level, you'll start to see the physical results of this in your physical realm. So you might get responses from people. You might be contacted. There might be correspondence. You might be flying somewhere. Anything that will help manifest your reality is happening. So this is all about, this is a beautiful card that you're on the right track. There's intuition and your manifestation is coming through quite strongly here, which is beautiful to see Pisces. Now, moving on, we have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords could be you if you have air energy in your chart, Pisces. Otherwise, there could be a strong air influence for you this month. And this could all also indicate there's a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, mostly Gemini, um, I get with this card, but it could also as well indicate the other air signs, which was Libra and Aquarius. This person could be quite influential for you. So you might have a sibling that's a Gemini. You might have a partner that's Gemini, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, spouse that's a Gemini, a relative, a child maybe, a friend. And I feel they will be with you on this sort of journey. I feel like they will help you in some way. They'll support you in some way. Now, whether this is in a relationship and you are in a relationship with a air sign, I feel this air sign is, they're really shining and the sun is shining on your relationship with this air sign. So I feel they're bringing a lot of experiences to you. They're very supportive with their words. Uh, most definitely, they give you something. They provide some sort of light and there tends to be that sort of energy around air signs. I mean, they're very, they're quite youthful and energetic and uh, they've got a, a good disposition in that aspect and it's almost like they sometimes not act childish but almost as if they're uh you know have that disposition and are very uh open like a child and giddy like a child and they will give you that outlook so that's what i'm sensing with the queen of swords also the queen of swords comes through for you as you'll be very on top of your game and I feel as though you'll be able to articulate yourself very, very well. If you're pitching something, I feel that will be very successful here with the Sun card. You'll have a lot of people looking to you, looking to your ideas. If you'd like to communicate something to a partner and you do so, I feel like that will be uh, received very, very well due to your uh, the way you articulate yourself, your ideas, anything that has to do with your thoughts, your dispositions, but it's really big on manifesting too because your mind, you're just in a really good state and there's a brand new beginning here happening for you. Now moving on, we have the beautiful sun card. You do have quite a bit of children in these cards, so this could indicate the project you're working on has something to do with children. Maybe you're writing a children's book. Maybe you are you work with children, you work in education. Maybe you work in primary care. Maybe you work at a preschool. Um... But there's children, there's a big, there's a strong affiliation with children. And this could just mean you're spending extra time with your children if you have any. But it really is beautiful. There's a lot of fun experiences here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm picking up animation and just a good time with children. Children feeling very happy, etc. also. And you do have the Knight of Cups. This is you and your element here as a water sign. And you are coming into exciting abundant times emotionally and that's beautiful this is indicated by the manifestation card with the seven and the brand new start of brand new horizon here with the ten of swords absolutely beautiful to get the knight of cups this really says that you're manifesting you're on the right track to where you need to be where you need to get to absolutely beautiful to see pisces things are manifesting for you you will start to see the beginnings of this correspondence someone might reach out to you from your ideas you might be traveling, meeting in-laws, for example, if you have an air sign partner or an earth sign partner, and that's beautiful. The sun is shining. This could also be a pregnancy, maybe, or maybe you're spending a lot of time with children, stepchildren and family members, etc. But let's consult the priestess cards and see what else is happening for you, Pisces. 
So we have the Priestess of Protection. So protection is really beautiful. That means that the angels and the spirit guides and the universe, whatever you want to call it, is protecting you. This could also indicate you may be protecting some sort of work in a legal battle, uh, in a legal case. Maybe you've come up with a story and you need you know, to copyright it and protect it legally. Maybe you need to consult a lawyer. This is the time when this will happen. And that's indicated by the Ten of Pentacles as well. You could have an asset that you're selling or looking to sell and you need to stay protected. But I feel it's more to do with your work and your partnership. You, you're you protected. And especially if you have an air sign or an earth sign that's around you, you're in a relationship with, they're here to protect you. And you, in turn, for them. And that's beautiful to see. The Priestess of Protection means you're really guided with whatever path you choose to go down here. With whatever you've manifested, you're being protected. Now we'll see what else Pisces has coming up. Priestess Oracle cards. Okay, so we have Ambition, and that's absolutely beautiful. The Priestess of Ambition, her dates are 24th of December to January 20th. This could be a time where you see uh, something happening for you here. Your ambition finally coming through, something, something coming through to fruition. And this means that you'll be very ambitious this month and might could see the start of something new here. And here she wears the, the color of purple, of royalty, of fame. People noticing you for your talents. You'll be extra ambitious, whether it's towards goals or getting that relationship, attaining that dream person, getting that experience, whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing, Pisces. You've got the priestess of protection and ambition. I see you going high places, very much so. You're, you're manifesting whatever it is that you want to, and your ambition is an overdrive, which is absolutely beautiful. It will bring you the sun. It will bring you bliss, joy, money with pentacles, recognition with the ambition card as well as the sun um, and just beautiful manifestations here all over. So I wish you all the best of luck, Pisces. It seems like it's going to shape out to be an excellent month. I wish you all the best and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks again.